Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was frequently asked whether there is any alternative program to plot the bands because the plot band.x that is offered intrinsically by Quantum Espresso does not offer enough flexibility with respect to plotting. So I decided to upload this video to explain you how to use one Python script that is open source to plot the bands. And all of the procedures are identical as in the previous videos. You first need to do a self-consistency calculation, non-self-consistency calculation, and bands calculation, and do post-processing using bands.x. And then instead of using plot band.x, we use bands.py and run.py. And let's take a look at those Python scripts. So this is bands.py, which contains the functions that you need to use to plot the bands. And the main function is this here bnd plot which plots the band so you need to use this function and then it accepts different arguments and data files contains the output data generated from bands.x which should have the postfix of .gnu fermi is the fermi energy you can find it in the scf or nscf step for which you can refer to my previous video and the symmetry file is the standard output file of bands.x and in my case is the silicon.bands.pp.out and subplot is the axis that you want to plot the band on and I will show you with my example here and then I extend the program to accept more arguments that they are optional and everything explained here you can set shift Fermi to 1 to shift the Fermi energy to 0 and you can set the color and line style of the plot of the band structure and you can select the range of the energy and also the legend of the plot and also you can pass the name of the k points to plot on the figure and I will post this program on my github so you can also freely download it this program was originally written by Levy Lenz and it is published under the MIT license and I did some extension to the program so feel free to download, use it and modify it as you want okay and then to do the actual plot we write another Python code called run.py and then we need to import the functions from bands and we import all of the functions so it's important that bands.py should be in the same folder as run.py here and the data file that contains the information of the bands is called this here dot that dot gnu and then the fermi energy we can read from the nscf step this is the standard output file for the bands.x so that the program will read and get the high symmetry k points and then we initialize the plots and the name of the axis is ax so we pass those arguments to the function and then we also set shift fermi equals zero so it does not shift the fermi energy to zero and then color to be black line style to be solid and then we name the k points to be l gamma x u gamma and legend to be silicon with pbe and then we show the figure and you can also save the figure using this and also as a side note, you should put the um, bands.py and run.py in your band structure calculation folder so that it can automatically find the output files inside the folder. Yeah, okay. Then let's run the run.py. You can have two choices to run this Python code. You can either use run.py or you can type in python run.py. Yeah, both will work. So let's go to the first. And then this is the band structure calculation. You see that the Fermi level is labeled by this dotted red line here, and the high symmetry points are labeled by the vertical dashed black line here. The vertical axis is energy, and the x axis is the k point, and you see that the high symmetry points are labeled. Okay. And then, of course, you can use actually all of the things as the default setting as this, and then we run the code again. And you see that everything is default you still get a band structure if you want to change the color of the band structure calculation for example you you want to say okay i like green and i want to use a dotted line for the band structure and we want to shift the fermi level to zero and then no problem and this is the result you see the fermi level is shifted to zero and then everything is plotted as you want 
And this is actually very important because sometimes we want to compare the band structure from two different calculations. So for that, you can just uh, copy and paste and then you use different data files and you choose a different color or two different line style, different legend. Then you will see two band structure plots on top of each other. Okay. So in this video, I've shown you how to use this Python code to generate the band structure plot. And I noticed that there could be some difficulties with regard to the Python or modules. So I also write the problems that I see and also the solution here. You can also find it in my GitHub that I will not go into detail here. If you find this video useful, please press like or subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time.